Hello, thank you and welcome to this video. Today we're going to watch how this time lapse shows you the way I modified the face normals for this anime model for Lamu Chen. So as you can see we have a realistic kind of uh, lightning and also we have a textured lightning. We also compose these final render result inside the real-time compositor in Blender 3.5 which you can activate by going to the final render view and then activate it from the drop down always active so in this case I just switched to the shader editor because I want to show you where that parameter is if you are a patron a supporting patron and you got this model then you can modify it using the shader use me to switch from shadow to flat material and the intent there is to kind of have a mix between the flat shading and basically receiving the scene white also if you notice you can modify her hair because every strand that I created here is specifically positioned so that she can have her classic anime hair look okay so let's go into the time-lapse for this right now this is the end result okay and this is the section of the video where I will be showing you the time-lapse for the normal editing. First of all, you need to download the AB Normal Editor, or actually the add-on. You can search it using Google. And after you install it, then we're going to start aligning some of the normal faces for this face polygon. Okay, so I just selected everything and then I told it align everything to the front view to the front of this character face which basically is I think Y uh, negative Y axis so now I'm going to select other regions on the face okay and the way the face is modeled it's specific to do this kind of work so it is it almost doesn't require that much work if you already memorize the way you're going to cut this triangular shapes around the eye or the cheeks okay so I'm going to select everything that you see right here and then I'm going to modify this side of the face first even though I am using the mirror those face normals will not be uh, ported to the other side unless you declare it on the add-on okay because if you modify only one side of the face even though you're using mirror m the mirror modifier they will not be transported to the other side you need to mirror them using the AB normal atom so as you can see right here I'm grabbing all of these um, areas all of these normals one at a time I'm sorry all of all of them at the same time sorry that's a mouthful and then modifying it next I wanted to grab this section of the head this is specific jawline that she has right here and I also want to start the AB normal editor switch on this axis right here and then make it positive X so that I can align them all at once and then just tweak them to point backwards as you're seeing right here so it's pointing away from the light and after this I'm going to be uh, leaving you with the rest of the time-lapse it's a 30 minute time-lapse so you can see everything on the process I did not want to cut out any parts because I understand that you would like to see where different events may happen whenever you're editing your normals so don't get frustrated just understand that each face on the polygons is made out of four and if of, of four sides that you can tweak your normals on and that's why we call the average normal for the face because it automatically detects detects how all the face the faces in the polygon are set so that the normals when they are split or even if they are a single normal at every point they can align themselves to the faces so those concepts are all presented on the um, stylized 2d tune shader course that I created on first of all Gumroad and then Wingfox everyone has been asking me 
uh, what's going on with those two versions and the quick answer is that the versions on Gumroad out are 2019 that basically Blender 2 83 and the version in Wingfox has been updated all the way up to Blender 2 93 I'm about to uh, put out a new version for this year 2023 using Blender 3.5 as there have been many updates such as uh, geometry nodes, grease pencil, and the real-time compositor. And all of those things are going to be included in the new part. That's why um, I recorded different times. Anyways, um, this is the suborbicular triangle. This is the shape that you find under the eye. And as you can see, I'm directly pointing, pointing them forward. So that way, they all catch the light coming from the front of the face. Now I'm going to select this specific section, which I have marked with um, freestyle lines. That's why you can see they are green color. They don't really affect anything here, as I am not using freestyle on her face. I'm using freestyle on her hair. But these lines, those green lines, help me out to know which polygon I should select to tweak the normals. And as you can see, I'm tweaking the normals sideways here okay directly sideways okay so I will be expecting any of your questions if you have them please use the comment box here in patreon or if you're watching this on YouTube in the future please let me know what sections or if you have any trouble using this add-on or tweaking the normals because this is a time lapse that has not been fast forward. So thank you very much for watching this and thank you so much if you're a supporting Patreon watching this video. Have a great day.